Google Keep is a fantastic application for managing all of your notes and ideas. But over the last few years, more and more people are starting to use Keep as their to-do list manager. So today, I want to show you a few different ways on how you can use Keep to manage all of your tasks. Now, the most simple or basic way to create a to-do list in Keep is by using the checklist function. Here, if we select new list, we are given a new list format. So we can just start entering our items immediately here on this new card. Now, down below, you can see that I've already created two different to-do lists. I have one titled to-do list work and another titled to-do list personal. And I recommend that you keep a separation between those two things. It's fine to have them side by side like you see here, but when you're dealing with work, you want to be focused on those work items. Now it's very easy to add new items here. Uh, simply type in your new item, hit enter on the keyboard, and you can get your, your second item in nice and, uh, nice and quickly. Keep makes it very easy for you to prioritize and move your tasks in a different order. Just drag and drop. And as soon as you check something off, it will be kept for you, and you can review it down here in the completed items area. In case you made a mistake, just uncheck that box, and it will be returned to your master list up above. Like I mentioned, you can create as many any of these lists as possible. You can go much further than just the work and personal categories which I've created here. But that's not the only way that you can create a to-do list within Google Keep. You will notice that I have a number of other notes or other note cards here within Keep, each one of them representing an individual task. So this is another way in which you can keep uh, on top of all of your tasks, on top of all of your to-dos. And the great thing about doing this at the individual note level is that I can always add images um, to these cards. I can add notes and further descriptions to these cards if I want. I can even share and collaborate with others when I do it at the individual card level as well. But don't worry about separation. Some of you may be thinking, well, I don't want all of my notes just in one unmanageable list. That's where labels come into play. So over here on the left-hand side, you can see I've also created a personal label and a work label. When I click on the work label, now all I see are my work-related tasks. And the great thing is, is when I add a new task up here, it will automatically add it to the work label area. So anything that I add when I'm focused here on my work-related tasks, it's all going to come back here to my work-related items. If I click on personal, again, all I see are my personal related items. And these colors, for example, um, other things that I set up can be unique to those labels or unique to that particular space. Now, there's one other advantage of using the individual note level for your tasks, and that is that you can add reminders to any task that you want. Let's say I want to make sure that I phone Kim uh, later today. So I'm going to set a reminder. Um, actually, let's let's pick a more specific time. I want to make sure I do it before, uh, before the end of today. So I'm going to say this afternoon by 1 p.m. And you can also see that some of my other tasks have reminders attached to them as well. Tomorrow, 8 a.m., uh, today at 12 noon. So if I'm using Google Keep on my mobile devices, I can receive a reminder when these tasks are due. But there's an additional benefit. If you use Google Calendar, and for most of you who are already using Google Keep, you're probably using Google Calendar, these reminders show up there as well. So here you see in red, these are the reminders that were created from those tasks within Google Keep. You'll need to turn on your reminders calendar in order for you to see that on your Google Calendar. But here I have the exact same task that I created in Google Keep, but I can see it on my calendar. I can even mark it as done directly here from my calendar. And if I want to change the date, I don't have to go back into Keep. I can actually edit and change the date right here within Google Calendar. It also gives us a handy link. So if I want to view further details or if I want to go back into Keep, 
I can just select this and I can view this note directly in Keep. So this can be a great way to manage your task, especially if you don't want to be going back and forth and back and forth between multiple applications. You can set up your to-do list in the morning, for example, and then work in your calendar around your other meetings and then see those tasks appear at the most appropriate time. So, those are just a few ways in how you can use Google Keep as a to-do list manager. Either set up individual cards or multiple cards as checklists, whether you're separating out work and personal, or maybe you want to go even a little more granular. You could have a to-do list just for the emails or phone calls, the communication that you're going to be doing today. You could even have a list which is specific for today and a separate list for things that you want to accomplish later in the week. An alternative method is that each and every note, each and every card you see here can be a task itself. And again, you can add further details, images, you can change the colors on these to represent something specific to you. And don't forget about labels. So you can have multiple lists. Here we're viewing my personal list and here you are using or looking at my work list. So I'd love to hear from you next. Have you used Google Keep? as a to-do list before? If so, how are you using Keep as your task manager? Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you subscribe right here to the Simple Tivity YouTube channel. And I'd love to hear from you, so be sure to leave a comment down below. Remember, being productive doesn't need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.